in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed but then it is true that when God wants to help you, he sends men. Hallelujah. When Satan wants to destroy you, he also sends men. In any case, men have been the reason for the destruction of others and then for the rising of others. Are you ready for tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands to heaven and let's begin to bless the King of kings and the Lord of lords. The one who will do wonders in our midst tonight. Go ahead and bless him. In one minute, cry from the depth of your heart. Ask for a visitation. Very definite visitation by the Spirit. Are you praying? Definite visitation by the Spirit. The Bible says in Genesis 21, 1, the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. Spoken, the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Visit me tonight, give me an encounter. You're a man of God, you're in ministry, you're trusting God for another level of exploit in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. From the front to the back, left to right, all who are outside, anywhere at all, connect with your heart and let God give you an encounter. And for those following from across the globe, now is your chance to receive. Tonight will be an extraordinary night. The spirit of grace is resting upon us. For in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Father, we ask that you rain upon us tonight. You come as the rain, according to Isaiah 32, 15. That until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field, and a fruitful field be counted for the forest. The last day of the feast, he said, whoever is thirsty, let him come. We have come. In the name of Jesus, your word says, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled let no one live here disappointed tonight let the sick be healed let the oppressed be delivered redirect the destinies of men tonight and set us on fire in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you and please you may be seated the psalmist said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord there are things you only find in the house of the lord hallelujah one of it is an encounter with his presence so we'll be very fast tonight by the grace of god and um i while i was just preparing i i got into a dilemma because uh, number one i promised that i had to finish um the teaching that we began yesterday and helping us understand the apostolic model for growth and stability I spoke about the nature and the character of God and there were two other dimensions of God um, but I apologize I have to shelve that right now because I need to speak to the theme of the teaching as it leads us to the miracle service so perhaps another time God will grant us grace to take it from there because it's my last session with us and um, the theme is open doors and so it's only fair and honest that we respond to that which God has put in the heart of pastor ike and his team if god placed this theme in their heart it is because there is someone whose door is about to open and let me prophesy to you already in the name of jesus 
that every door that has been closed over your life tonight is not the night to be careless about receiving in the name of Jesus I decree and declare before your eyes that door opens before your eyes that door opens before your eyes doors of ministry doors of new levels doors of higher dimensions of power before your eyes that door opens tonight in Jesus name please be seated Matthew 7 7 and 8 my goodness Matthew chapter 7 7 and 8 can we go to um, let's use KJV I'm seeing message here let's do KJV thank you the Bible says ask and it shall be given you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open can you see there this is Jesus speaking that every time you knock it shall be opened verse 8 for everyone say everyone this blessings is for everyone everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be open revelation chapter 3 7 and 8 we're speaking on open doors and to the angel of the church in philadelphia write this thing saith he that is holy he that is true and he that hath the key of david he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth verse 8 i know thy works behold i have set before you an open door and no man can shut it shout a loud amen, amen. let's discuss doors for a, a moment what are doors i need to just bring us to this understanding and then tonight i'll be praying for the sick i'll be ministering to the oppressed and then be speaking over our lives in the name of jesus and i hope already that you have your prayer request and if you are here and you've not written your request go ahead whilst i'm teaching do well to pen down your requests we are before the god that answers prayer and if you've written a few things and your faith is now enlarged by reason of what god is doing you can add some more things and that applies to those who are connecting online it is not a ritual it is not religiosity we serve a god that answers prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer will all flesh come what are doors number one a door is an authorized system for access this is the first thing you have to understand about doors doors are authorized legitimate systems for access access into rooms access into realms access into dimensions doors midwife one room and another for instance your house the various rooms are separated by doors am i right on that so you can be in your house but then between the living room and the kitchen say there usually is a door and then the kitchen and the bathrooms a door then all other rooms they are separated by walls but then you have access to the various rooms through doors so doors are authorized systems of access access to opportunities access to levels access to dimensions in the spirit you have that down it's important you have this that means every time god and destiny wants you to make progress a door must be opened are we together it is beyond just a metallic object giving way swinging from left or right no doors are a representation of any system for access it has to be authorized that's why it's called a door you may have heard me teach that if you come into my house by jumping the fence you are in my house but you are not welcome what is the name of such a person a thief not a visitor why is he a thief because although he's in my house he did not follow the authorized access so jesus speaking about himself said i am the door in other words if you try to route the realm of the spirit through any other agency even if you find yourself in the realm of the spirit you are still out of the will of god because no man comes to the father except through jesus the door are we together now a few things about doors that you need to understand i'll be very very fast doors control motion the first thing you need to understand about doors is that doors control movement 
every time a door is closed it affects your movement if you were walking say for instance from your living room to a kitchen and the door the the speed with which you were you have to slow down mark time and even stand still until the door is open before your movement continues so doors control motion doors control movements hallelujah now doors can also mean hindrances watch this now doors can also mean limitations they can also mean restrictions in as much as on one hand doors represent authorized systems for access doors can also represent hindrances doors can represent restrictions doors can represent access if for instance you come into an office and you want to see perhaps maybe the ceo or the gmd usually you are kept in a room and there may be a few rooms before you finally get to the office and you are restricted because of the presence of doors is someone learning already the next information i want you to know about doors and this is important for what you'll be receiving tonight is that doors can open and doors can close as simple as this is is a profound revelation doors can open and doors can close for various reasons doors can open and doors can close there are thousands of people in this place tonight and every single one of you without any exception you came into this room into this building this lovely structure through a door a number of doors i see around this beautiful auditorium and every one of them has given you the access because of its ability to open and to close are we together now doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits this is a very profound revelation doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities i'm summarizing a few thoughts about doors my apologies for just rushing you we need to get to a certain level so that we can do justice to what god intends to be done tonight doors can be circumstances say circumstances doors can be human entities that means an individual can be a door for instance jesus jesus himself said i am the door not that i have the door i am the door myself men can be doors and then spirits can also be doors profound so when we talk about doors we are not just talking about physical objects inanimate objects that open and swing no they could be human beings they could be spirits are you ready for the next information about doors almost all doors are closed by default almost all doors are closed by default for many reasons almost all doors are closed by default and i don't want to start boring you with the various reasons but let's try one or two the reason why doors are closed is not always a disadvantage to have closed doors if you do not understand closed doors you will not understand open doors are we together yes when you buy a product watch this how many of you know that because the product is closed and packaged that is its seal of authenticity if you buy a perfume or you buy whatever gadget if you see it already open in fact for certain products like perishables beverages they tell you that if the seal or the cap is already open as at the point of purchase that you return it for a refund am i right on that so when doors close they increase the value of a person they increase the value of a thing doors closed doors are also seals of authenticity hallelujah doors manage restrictions until permission is granted doors manage restriction they restrict access doors manage ac access my my apologies they manage or they restrict access imagine with me that your car did not have doors imagine with me that your jewelry box did not have a cover a door imagine with me that the banks especially at this point in this nation did not have doors 
imagine with me that a big store or a warehouse did not have a door so doors manage and they restrict access until permission is granted are we together doors also protect and preserve for instance as born again as you are full of the holy spirit when you left your house you locked the door it was not a devil that locked the door it was you you even came to church where the presence of god is you still locked your car am i right on that yes some of you have your bags with you right now in the presence of god where the shekinah glory of god is and you still locked the bag so not all closed doors are wrong <laughs> am i right on that i see some of you taking drinks in front and when you sip the drink interesting that you will still close it although you plan to open it but for the time being because you are not given a chance to fly so anything any kinds of impurity so closed doors are not all evil that's the point i'm trying to communicate you understand to just treat all closed doors as demonic may be wrong because doors closed doors have their advantage however closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to to stop your progress closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to stop your progress this is the context of our discussion tonight closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to stop your progress if you are together say amen now please look up that means the moment you stand before a closed door the first thing you need is not a desire to open it you need discernment because you need to find out whether the closing of that door as it is is an advantage for you or not are we together now if you hear that there is some gunshot and there are armed robbers around and a door is closed you will thank god that that door is closed because it represents your safety am i right on that but then if you need to step out of your house and then for instance you lose the key to the main door now you are locked up inside that is a disadvantage and you need help so every time you stand before closed doors listen carefully closed doors in ministry closed doors in destiny the first thing you need is discernment to understand the intent behind that closed door if it is demonic then we can now begin to discuss the concept of open doors blindly teaching that all closed doors are demonic may be dangerous there are many of you today that your safety is because certain doors have been closed and have remained closed hallelujah praise the name of the lord do you know that your body itself is a door that covers and keeps all your internal organs safe do you know that imagine for instance that a woman a, a, a woman is pregnant and the child is just hanging and growing on her head if you are angry and you pick the child and throw the child away that door secures the baby while it's growing imagine your heart imagine all your how fragile your organs have you seen a human brain before have you seen a human heart these things are so fragile you can squeeze them with your hand but let anything go wrong with them your brain is so delicate that there are so many doors your flesh then your skull god's intelligence to keep it safe so that regardless the careless playing as a child you will still survive and then those things will be kept intact if your body were not a door imagine footballers imagine goalkeepers they fly in the air they land on on, on the ground and yet they are still safe he keepeth his bones and none is broken but the mystery is through doors your body itself is a door covering so many sensitive organs that is the reason why every time a surgical procedure is about to happen before they reach to the organ of interest what do they do they have to create a system to open that door that is your body are we learning so our concern tonight is to teach you the forces that control open doors because the doors we are dealing with tonight are doors that have been closed by the devil 
doors that are hindering people from stepping into their prophetic destiny and since god has pronounced by his word through his servant that this is an open door coincidentally this is the prophetic word that god gave us even as a ministry that is a year and a season of open doors hallelujah there are forces that cause doors to be open from a standpoint of intelligence when you stand before an open door there are many 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 ways that doors open and i want to show you at least four of them tonight and then we begin to pray but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my hand but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head that will be your song after this service in the name of jesus christ because among the many things that will be happening here is we are going to be commanding ancient gates to be lifted it says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors that the king of glory is not only the king of glory that will step in your destiny will step in your children will step in every ancient door that has been closed over your life i prophesy to you tonight already in the name of jesus that the one who holds the key of david is here tonight to swing those doors open in the name of jesus christ please be seated forces that control open doors are you ready number one the force of light the first force that is responsible for the opening of closed doors is the force of light light in scripture represents illumination light in scripture represents knowledge hallelujah it says arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you light is profoundly important i hope you know that the reason why you see is not just because you have a pair of eyes it is the union of your eyes and light that equals sight if the light in this auditorium went you know the light is is, is switched off your eyes will still be working well yet you will not see or perhaps not see well hallelujah genesis chapter 19 10 and 11 very profound story there so this uh the men in sodom and gomorrah the bible tells us that when the angels came to visit lot the men came and you know they just wanted to have those angels to themselves and lord said no 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 no. you cannot commit this kind of abomination against these people and the people insisted and something profound happened 10 and 11 watch as i read but the men put forth their hand and pulled lot the men being the angels they pulled lot into the house to them and shut the door next verse and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness both small and great what was the result they wearied themselves to find the door simply because blindness happened to them they were standing in front of the door but they could not open the door they wearied themselves in front of the door because light was taken away from them in luke chapter 11 and verse 52 give it to us please luke 11 52 i tell you i sense such power in this place woe unto you lawyers jesus is rebuking them now for ye have taken away the key of knowledge say the key of knowledge one more time say the key of knowledge so light in scripture is also represented by keys one of the ways that doors open is through the force of light the application of correct keys there are keys that control doors look at me please how many of you know that the rooms every room in your house has keys you can have the key to your bedroom 
and not have the key to say the kitchen that becomes trouble for you if you are hungry because although you have a key you do not have the key that leads you to the place you desire so just because you have a key does not mean it opens all doors the key that opens financial doors will not necessarily open the doors of healing the keys that open the realm of healing may not necessarily open the realm of influence it is your assignment on that grace to begin to fish out these keys one by one so jesus says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom he says and i will give you the keys it is by those keys you will bind you will cast you will allow you will disallow say keys let the devil hear say keys how many of you have experienced a situation where you lost the key to your house or the key to your door or you misplaced it temporarily can you imagine that a small key that you can slip into your pocket you stand helpless in front of that door in front of that uh, padlock or in front of your vehicle and you keep searching around where is this key the absence of a small key can so disorient you and make your day look sour keys are powerful they give you access as great as these doors are together combined you can literally put the key the keys that give you access to this auditorium in your pocket and yet when they are missing you will remain outside for as long as those keys are missing for someone in this place in the name of Jesus by reason of this teaching the various keys that connect to the various dimensions of your destiny may you begin to find them by scripture hallelujah when God wants to open the door of the anointing, he hands to you the keys that control the manifestation of the power of God. When God wants to lift you, he hands to you the keys. For instance, the keys of obedience, according to Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. And it shall come to pass, the Bible says, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to do and to observe all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God shall exalt you above the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Say keys. Say light. The force of light. The force of light keys of the kingdom we reign in this kingdom on the strength of the lights that we have he says arise shine Isaiah 60 and verse 1 for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I will always like to quote it from amplified arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light the Bible says but the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light in the name of Jesus every door that has refused to be opened the key that is required the correct key you have been turning wrong keys just because it is a key does not mean it to open for you the door of healing just because it is a key does not mean it to open to for you the door of ministerial exploits may the correct key by light be handed to your hands tonight shout a believers amen I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified light. When we have access to light in this kingdom, then our dominion is established capacity to open doors even ancient doors they did not open for those who went ahead of you because even though they were sincere they did not understand the force of light listen
by this teaching already god is challenging someone and planting within your spirit a holy on anger and tonight i want you to insist the door that did not open for my father the door that did not open for my mother it is not because the door cannot open i told you it is in the character of doors to be able to open and to close but not under every condition one of them is the ability to use the right key the right key there is a key that opens doors there is a key that opens the door that you intend and desire to be open can i give you number two the second force that is responsible for the opening of doors is called the force of prayer the force of prayer write it down please the force of prayer Acts chapter 12 1 to 10 the Bible says that it pleased Herod Herod decided to stretch his hands and vex certain of the Jews people in the church verse 2 he killed James the brother of John with the sword can you imagine that so James is dead and when he finds out verse 3 that it pleased the Jews the Bible says he proceeded further everybody say proceeded further this is what happens when you refuse to pray when Satan afflicts your finances and you refuse to pray he proceeds further every attack Satan launches is not the greatest he wants to launch he will test you and watch your response when you are careless and you give all kinds of flimsy explanations it's just life it's just the economy he proceeds further some of you the attack of satan started as just one small pain around your body and right now you've been diagnosed with a sickness thank god for tonight only god knows what would have happened to you are we together can i tell you satan is one person who you do not tolerate the weapon of prayer grants you access to peg him immediately don't give him any foothold when you give Satan a foothold, he will create a big space out of it. He proceeded further to take Peter also. Verse 4. When he now put Peter in a prison, can you imagine how this man was bound? The Bible says he was put in prison, delivered to four quaternions of soldiers, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. He was using the death of people to seek favor. Can you imagine such a man? Verse 5. Here is a secret. Peter was kept in the prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Profound expression. But prayer was made without ceasing unto God by the church for him. As a result, next verse. When Herod would have brought him forth that same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison what were they keeping the door not just the man the man was already chained how would he lose himself but they were keeping the door closed verse six seven now behold in response to their prayer the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote peter on the side raised him up and said arise quickly and the chains fell off his hands how many of you know that he was free but he was still bound because he was still behind a closed door verse 8 the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind on thy sandal so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 watch this and he went out and followed him and which not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision 10 the bible says watch this now watch the doors open when they came they were past the first and the second word those are doors and they came to a particular mysterious door called the iron gate that leads to the city let me use this to prophesy to someone there is always a door that leads to the city listen every city before the city sees you there is a door that if it opens the city must see you and for many of you you have come out of prison but the city cannot see you 
because that iron gate is still closed my bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron and sunder i decree and declare the gates that open to the city of asaba tonight may it be open heater and teeter in the name of jesus christ please be seated now watch this the bible says the iron gate which leaded unto the city which opened to them of his own accord after that peter could leave doors can open when men pray doors can open when men pray prayer releases the power of god as seen in acts chapter 16 give us 25 and 26 as a result of delivering the damsel who had the spirit of divination paul and silas were kept in prison but the bible says at midnight paul and silas prayed after praying they sang praises unto god loud enough for the prisoners to hear them watch the power of prayer the bible says suddenly so prayer happens suddenly it brings the power of god suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were open read the remaining part if you're a christian ready one to read and immediately all doors were open and how long immediately who told you the doors must open one by one by one there is a force that prayer can exert and in a moment including one month that the doors that could not open january february march april may june july august september october now november the bible says immediately all doors all doors financial doors doors of grace doors of power all doors open the force of prayer can you pray in the spirit in one minute while you're standing all doors prayer sustains the power to bring the power of god to the sea and when god's power shows up all doors i don't know who this is going to happen to tonight but in the name of jesus all doors begin to mention the doors you know the doors command that they open because the king of glory doors of ministry doors of your influence doors of health doors of marriage and your home doors of fruitfulness someone prophesy this is a prophetic atmosphere tonight And immediately all doors were open all doors were open all doors take a minute and pray while still praying let a prophet pray that the door of the prophetic must open let an apostle in the making pray that the door of the apostolic must open let a healing revivalist pray the door that opened for TL Osborne let it open for me oh God that opened for it had bonked let it open for me oh god the door that opened for billy graham let it open for me oh god in the name of jesus please be seated and i give you the third force what is the third force that opens doors are you ready the force of favor mm. yes sir yes sir the force of favor this is the mystery behind the statement knock and it shall be opened unto you it says knock and it shall be opened unto you the problem is if the person to open it does not like you it will not be opened knock and it shall be opened unto you Luke chapter 11 please 5 to 8 Jesus is teaching us on prayer and he uses a very very interesting story a parable now which of you shall have a friend everybody say friend shout it again say friend and shall go to him at midnight and say unto him friend lend me three loaves why for another friend say friend 
have you seen that this example is business among friends not enemies the one who came to visit was a friend the one whose door he went to knock was a friend a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him and the friend says verse 7 he from within shall answer and say trouble me not why the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed I cannot rise and give thee but watch what favor does I say unto you though he will not rise and give him because of friendship yet because of his importunity the word importunity there is the force of persistence he will rise and give him as many how many did the guy ask for three loaves how many did he give him as many that one is not just giving again he's under the influence of favor when it becomes as many the man asks for three i've calculated the number of the friends i'm asking you for three and the same man who said go away it's already late i'm in bed with my children does that look like what pharaoh did to israel after 430 years of vowing that he would not even give them straw by himself he carried the gold of egypt carried the floor of egypt and gave them and said go and serve your god favor is a potent force a force that opens the doors of destiny you cannot manifest your prophetic potential hear me without understanding the force of favor esther chapter 5 1 and 3 the bible tells us about hadassah esther now now that she had become queen her man was plotting to annihilate the jews and she needed to have access to the king and in ancient times if the king did not call her into his inner chamber if she went there on her own the price would not just be her leaving the throne like vashti she would have to be put to death the king would have to lift his golden censer that means i have given you access you may proceed but now she's in a difficult situation mordecai had warned her that god placed you there to be a savior a deliverer then esther goes to fast and says fast with me i will go and meet the king if i perish i perish let's watch what happens this is what happens upon your life and what will happen to you from this night and after this night in the name of jesus it came to pass on the third day that esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house verse 2 and it was so when the king saw esther the queen standing in the court she obtained help me favor in his sight and the king held out to esther the golden censer that was in his hand so esther drew near that door opened because of favor and she touched the top of his scepter verse 3 then the king said unto her what will thou queen esther she had not spoken oh what will thou queen esther what will i give you and what is your request it shall be given unto thee even up to half of my kingdom Haba. Vashti did not even ask for half of the kingdom just a little rebellion he drove her away here is a woman who came not invited but when favor came favor is like a mantle when it rests upon your life it begins to command the attention of men listen the character of favor is that it compels men to treat you with kindness to give you unusual access and to give you unusual acceptance favor do you believe in favor the number one reason why we excel in the cosmos in the world of men is because of this mysterious spiritual force called favor man of god if favor is not upon your life you can be sincere but nobody will come to stand with you to lift your hand while you serve god i tell you sincerely the cure for many of these manipulations that go on in church is to understand and to receive the grace of favor there are many great visions that cannot advance there are many potential queen esters who are pecked in life 
because they have not mastered the art of smearing themselves with the oil that gives them access to Ahasuerus. Esther was a village girl, a little history, a village girl from Shushan. But when she went, she met her guy, the one who kept the king's virgins, and he gave her a certain kind of oil. He says, I know the king. You keep rubbing this oil for one year. After that, you are ready to go and see the king. The Bible says the moment the king saw her, she obtained favor more than all the virgins. Esther 2 and verse 17. So that he placed the royal crown and the ring upon her and made her queen instead of Vashti. Can I tell you, favor is a major definer of your possibilities in life and destiny. You believe me when I say this, a major definer, it takes the favor of God for men to be loyal to you and to give you their heart. It takes the favor of God for you to have men and women who believe in your vision and come to partner with you, not just in terms of finances, to pledge their loyalty, to stand with you, stand by you, stand for you. Someone shout favor. Shout like you are receiving it. Say favor. Now, most times when we talk about favor in church, we just shout it like some Pentecostal jamboree and the people who receive it do not even know what it is for. It's just a marketing of lust. But I tell you, God designed it in his economy that doors will not open until favor comes. May I refer you to my teaching, this grace called favor. I've done an extensive teaching on the dynamics of favor. I know what it means to walk in the favor of God. A generation will never pay attention to you until you carry this grace. The grace called favor. Is someone learning? The third way doors open is through the force of favor. There are people today who have houses they did not build. There are people today who have been given lands they did not build. Let me speak to someone who is trying to look for land. You are trusting God. Maybe not everyone, but for those who are trusting God for structural establishment. I prophesy Psalm 44 and verse 3. Let me read it before I speak over your life. And you will think I'm joking till you see what happens to you after this prophetic word. This is how men are made. The Bible says, for they got not the land. Read with me. In possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand, thine arm, the light of your countenance, because thou hadst a favor in the name of Jesus. Anyone trusting God for structural and territorial establishment, I call upon the God of all grace, the one who grants favor to men. Between now and the end of next year, I don't know how my God will do it, but may my God give you your space of land. May my God give you territory in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. I say it again in the name of Jesus my God and your God don't worry let her do what she's doing in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you I'm saying it again one last time for someone here maybe a man of God let me focus on those in ministry the grace that gives you your own space because God is a God of portion I call upon my God the God of my covenant may he surprise you in a way that you have never seen in the name of Jesus Christ You believe what you are receiving please sit down there are many builders and architects here do you know how much it takes to build one complete duplex without stealing notice what i said without stealing whether from government or stealing from anybody with integrity there are many young men if they do not carry favor they will never be able to own one property in their lifetime not today's world you know how much one bag of cement is? 
it is the reason why many people are plunging into so many things right now practices that are ungodly treasure is pushing people into all kinds of compromises may favor rest on you let it rest on your ministry let it rest on your children let it rest on the works of your hands it will be clear that you are Beulah and Hephzibah you are a well watered garden you will be an example of what it means to walk in the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ listen when the Lord gave me a revelation of favor many years ago as one of the secrets that will keep me doing ministry with integrity and grace I cried for one month praying for favor I studied every material I could find about favor the first thing that shocked me about favor was that many things we say about favor is not true for instance we call favor unmerited access it's not exactly true favor is dimensional only one dimension of it is unmerited when you are talking about favor as the saving grace of Jesus every other dimension of favor is merited Proverbs 13 15 read it if you're a child of God Proverbs 13 15 help us media when you see it projected let's read ready one to read no come on you have to read it louder one to go again uh-huh one last time by this scripture what is the secret of favor good understanding the bible says in all you're getting get understanding there are secrets that control favor for instance diligence for instance honor for instance favor provoking prayers for instance having the understanding on how to keep and maintain relationships these are the forces that control favor you've heard me say it again and again that in this world who hates you does not matter don't worry about those who hate you but in truth who likes you dear esther it takes only one ahazaros and your life changes don't mind the who whoever hates you that's their cup of tea but who likes you are we together yes men are powerful though let me tell you when god wants to help you most of what you are praying now is not going to come from heaven it's already in the hand of somebody now right now the job the increase the promotion man of god the land including the impartation you are looking for it is true we say it comes from heaven but he's already routed it through vessels that are carrying it now say favor exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians as about hear me and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye go anywhere go to nigeria go to europe go to america as ye go it says ye shall not go empty do you believe this I don't know how my life would have been without the favor of God sincerely Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 even Jesus increased in wisdom he increased in stature he increased in favor if Jesus did not have favor with God and men they would have killed him for trying to carry somebody's donkey the man kept his donkey in peace even the owner had not ridden on the donkey but he said go to the street that the roads divide you will see a colt there that no man had ridden on lose it and bring it and if they ask you tell them the master adon the lord has need of it when favor is upon your life men will run over themselves as though under a spell to see that your destiny emerges it is true i know what favor can do can I tell you, favor brings ease to the life of people. It is not God's desire to wake up early and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. My Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. Sleep there talks of rest. He says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me most of you you came for this conference right now and the door that has stood before you if those who went ahead of you knew the power and the value of favor when we talk about favor most people think money no the proof of favor is not money 
the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men you can have money without having favor you can just be diligent and exchange value and you can have some level of finances but favor is beyond that it was because the favor of the Lord was upon Joseph that even as a prisoner he excelled can I tell you the truth when God gives you favor with men Joseph interpreted three people's dreams for two of them he remained in the prison but when he interpreted the king's dream he came out of prison you have been interpreting dreams God needs to change those whose dreams you are interpreting for as long as you are interpreting the dream of the wine presser and the dream of the baker congratulations but you will remain there but when the king dreams with the interpretation of that dream comes promotion there are architects today who are not the best there are business people today who are not the best but it so happened that the person who liked them and gave them visibility was such a great man and they began to handle contracts of billions and you look at them and in truth in truth they are not better than you and they know it it matters whose dreams you interpret man of god you can interpret the dreams of several people and that is wonderful you are mandated to do so but when god wants to help you god will send someone with nobility and grace and when you interpret the dreams they will hold your hand in return and say let me help to make this journey lighter for you do you believe this yes the force of favor let me quickly give you one more probably the last for now ah when it's time to pray my dear people pray on this favor thing oh did you hear what i'm saying not everybody is sick but everybody here needs favor you can insist that this is the gift you carry tonight it can come on you i knew my life without it and i knew my life with it one day of favor one see let me tell you this you know that it is favor when it happens again and again and again you've heard me say if it happens only once it is not favor it is called breakthrough but when it happens again regardless circumstances favor do you know that when the angel appeared to the virgin called mary what was the salutation he says you are highly favored was it necessary for her to excel did jesus need favor did mary need favor did the apostles need favor what makes you downplay favor man of god you are a genuine man of god sincere with all your heart but what you may be missing in your life is the favor of god when that grace came upon my life the assignment god gave me changed my life changed sometimes when i'm alone before the lord I begin i'm not a very emotional person sometimes i try to cry in the midst of people but the tears doesn't come just doesn't come at all <laughs> hallelujah but not in his presence my goodness my goodness i look at my life and i say my god look what you have done is this what your favor can do this is what is happening to someone right now do you believe that hold on listen listen take it higher for me everyone listen to me i'm taking time to say this because there are many 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 doors that you don't need to struggle at the back of that door there is someone already the key has been found all it takes is for the person to be willing to open do you believe this doors of ministry doors of destiny someone just holds your hand you are Ebenezer the helper of men you are Ebenezer that's my testimony Lord you are my helper you are Ebenezer don't tell me I came from a family where I'm the only one now 
a family with no form no comeliness i show you a bailout system out of the realm of shame and disgrace and disappointment god programmed favor as one of his systems you can scale and watch doors open on their own because he's already positioned men there and with the gallancy of royalty they will swing those doors for you while you make progress is it not in your bible now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph doors of ministry doors of influence i have found myself as a man of god today in places that sometimes i am humbled and i say my god may i never get used to what you are doing but this one Kai. i don't know who i'm speaking to but in the name of jesus someone who came for this meeting what has never been done in the history of your family what has never i'm saying it by the spirit of prophecy what has never what you have not seen in the name that is above all names by the force of favor every door it doesn't matter how old it has been it doesn't matter how long it has been closed may favor swing it open tonight let your grace grace called favor rest on me rest on me let this grace this grace called favor rest on me rest on me oh, 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 oh rest on me 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 let me give you number four and then we get straight into the miracle service ah, this atmosphere is stirred up my god someone this is an answer to your fasting and prayer of many weeks god has shown you you have seen it in visions that you are the one the mantle is upon to lift up your family but i'm showing you the keys that bring you there for some of you your mother did not have the opportunity to hear a preacher preach like this but your mother kept praying for you to say lord i could not make it but can you carry my son can you carry this daughter can she be esther can he be joseph i i i did not i did not i failed with my own life but let me invest in prayer is that prayer that has brought you today make sure your heart and your spirit is open to receive because god is a covenant keeping god let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me oh force number one is the force of light access to the keys of the kingdom force number two what is the second force the force of prayer releasing the supernatural power of God to come into the scene force number three is the force of favor granting you access to the gift of man force number four the force of prophecy the fourth and final force i'm introducing to you today that can scatter any closed door it doesn't matter how long that door has been closed the bible says how forcible are right words right words carry force not just right keys right words when the right word comes your destiny it does not just open it it can scatter that door because if the door is open you can move but maybe to close over your children but when that door is scattered everyone behind you cannot move listen for someone here i came in the spirit and the power of elijah 
not just to open the door but to break that door finally in the name of Jesus Christ no there are doors that need to it's not just for them to open they must give way they must give way in the name of Jesus watch this help those under the anointing when the Philistines began to threaten Samson the Bible says Samson went and carried the gate he uprooted it and took it to a mountain and dropped it there not that he opened it he uprooted it I come in the spirit of Samson where is that door that gate that has vowed that you will not cross in in the name of Jesus the God of Jeshurun I decree and declare that gate is uprooted that door is uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ the force of prophecy Exodus 14 and verse 13 ah, the Spirit of the Lord is mighty in this place that lady that is wearing pink that lady praying this one lift your hands I saw light coming on you and the Lord is telling me that doors will be open for you in a very strange way this man are you a pastor come this one you what do you do you are huh? you are you are an architect I want to pray for you the call of God is on your life oh it's not only architecture but I'm going to pray you believe in the power of prophecy this prayer will shift you to dimensions in the spirit first and then dimensions in your field I stretch my hands may that anointing rest upon you and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will move to realms untold you will begin to excel by the power of the Holy Spirit I connect you to superior clientele I call them from the north the south and as I'm praying for him I'm praying for everyone too in the name of Jesus may the Lord draw your helpers for you in the name of Jesus Christ who is Sarah I'm hearing the name Sarah 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 who is Sarah oh you are the Sarah let your power Holy Ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me holy ghost power Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus all of you who are here I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm led to prophesy Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said and the Lord did unto Sarah that power from on high may it rest upon you may the Lord give you strange visitations in the name of Jesus Christ Please sit down for a moment. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. The power of prophecy as the force that commands open doors. Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen today you shall see them no more forever verse 14 it says the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace watch this now verse 15 and the Lord said unto Moses watch this wherefore criest thou unto me speak to 
to the children of Israel that they go forward. How do they go forward? By you speaking to them. It didn't say they should just move their legs. You prophesy to them and say they go forward. Because if you do not speak, even though they have the desire to go forward, there is a door that is already closed. It is called the Red Sea. I hope you know the Red Sea was not just a river. It was a door. Because that door opened. Did it not open? It opened and they walked on dry ground. You are the one who calls it a sea. It is a river. Yes, to you. But it is a door. And under a certain condition, the door opened. It says, but lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. 17. And behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians. Watch this. And they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon his host, upon the chariots and upon the horsemen. The final verse. The Bible says, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. And so Moses goes and says, people, let's get ready to go forward. But it will be by prophecy. And he says, God has commanded me and he told them, go forward. He stretched forth the rod. And the Bible tells us that even though he was stretching his rod, what really happened was the breath of God's nostrils on that river. And it suddenly became a door and opened heater and teeter, became a wall. I hope you know, if this place were a river, watch this, and you suddenly move the river, there is still a depression. So I can't walk on it. So it is beyond the river opening. The ground had to lift to rise to a position where they could walk if this whole auditorium were a river and i'm standing here and the water suddenly vanishes there is a depression because that water occupied space it's not just that the river moved is that the ground began to elevate till it got to that position and then they started walking on dry ground and the egyptians came pursued them and when they had all crossed he said moses hurry up i want to close that door and the moment that door closed it closed with everything that was not of god and miriam wrote it so beautifully in a song she said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea prophecy can i tell you there is no destiny listen there is no destiny that opens up without the prophetic not even jesus the prophetic has sadly been abused in our world today but ladies and gentlemen hear me just because of the abuse of the prophetic do not make a mistake of throwing away the prophetic your life will be limited almost all through your lifetime you may have heard me teach that there were three prophets that literally opened up the gates of Jesus' own destiny. Number one, Simeon the prophet. Number two, Anna the prophetess. Number three, John the prophet, who you call the Baptist. Jesus, your Jesus. When John did not want to do it, he said, suffer it to be so. It's an ordinance. If I ignore the prophetic, it will affect my rising, my emerging hallelujah the prophetic has a unique ability to cause doors to be open people make progress when the prophetic comes upon their lives we are products of prophecy the speakings of men empowered and engraced by God the Bible says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established then it says believe in his prophets so shall you prosper the prophetic is powerful when the prophetic is communicated within the boundary of scripture it works wonders in the lives of those whose hearts are opened and tonight that word is about to come and rest upon someone's life the prophetic when there was famine in Samaria it took a prophet called Elijah 
and he came by the spirit stood over samaria and said by this time tomorrow whoever believed it enjoyed the blessings whoever was too arrogant to believe it like the one who the king leaned upon died at the wall just where the door that led to abundance that was where he died when the axe head sank and it would not come up he said alas master for it was borrowed the prophet said where fell it and he threw the rod and the axe head began to float when the woman's child died she ran to the prophet and the prophet brought that child back to life can i tell you when god wants to help you he sends a prophet in truth to your life now let me tell you how the prophetic works not every prophet solves everybody's problems i can be greatly anointed but not sent to you the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent that means as elijah was on his way going he met other widows he just greeted them and passed he had no ministry to them how are you madam oh sorry about the loss and he left when he got to the one he was sent to he said i'm sent to you when god wants to help you he helps you very early in life to see the prophet sent to you not the prophet available the prophet sent they were going around looking for the lost donkey Saul now and they said look we can't sit down here and keep wasting our time this donkey will not go back there is a seer there is a man whose word does not fall to the ground let's carry a gift and go and look for him as soon as they met this mysterious man called Samuel number one the donkey started going back home on its own number two he said you will meet three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give to you receive it from them number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines and the spirit of prophecy will rest upon you you will be turned into another man can i tell you when you find the prophet sent to you and you are able to receive your life will dramatically change dramatically change hallelujah do you believe this many widows in zarephath the fact that you came here tonight by the spirit is because this grace was sent to you and i want you to sit back and watch the wonder working power of the prophetic i've i've seen what the prophetic can do my goodness this meeting you see is a product of what the prophetic can do there are many many great ministers you love the lord with all your heart you are at a level right now where this door that has been closed you just need a prophetic push to part this red sea no matter how anointed you are you need that prophetic push hallelujah believe in the lord your god the conditions for receiving from the prophetic is number one discernment you must discern who is this person that God has brought before you? I'm not talking of human worship, but discernment. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. To receive a prophet is not just about kneeling down and doing, although I know that Africans will respect people, but receiving a prophet is receiving him as touching that office. Hallelujah. I wish I had time I would have shared with you various stories of the a prophet does not have to be somebody who bears the office of a prophet there is the office of the prophetic there is the gift of prophecy there is the operation of the prophetic every believer has access to the operation of the prophetic because the Bible makes everyone prophetic it is a more sure word of prophecy I can take scripture and speak over my life that is the operation of the prophetic but this is not what I'm talking about 
I'm talking about the prophetic resting upon your life. Many years ago, you've heard my story. I went to buy sugar cane. And when I went to buy sugar cane, I saw two mysterious women. And they kept looking at me. They also went to buy it. And old women. And then I decided that I was going to pay for them. I said, please, you are my mothers. Let me just honor you. They refused, but I insisted. They were trying to lose their wrapper and bring out the money, but I insisted. It was, I'm not sure it was more than 100 naira. Then I bought it for them. Then they began to bless me. To bless me. I don't know why I did not pay attention, but I remember one of the women, I truly believe, if I'm wrong, I'm sure in heaven God will correct me, but I do not believe those women were ordinary women. And if they were, then there was a mysterious covenant in the order of Melchizedek. One of the women looked at me and said, my son, forever walk upon gold. Hallelujah. We're returning from a place after Quara, going to Ekiti State. And I passed a very small village where people lived there mysteriously long hundred and something years i kept seeing obituaries 113 one this then i saw 136 he had just died i went to preach then some years ago quite a while in a university called affair babalola university and when i was done preaching that their program i was returning back because we flew through quara state ilori and on our way returning I now stopped. I told the driver, stop. I said, find somebody for me who can speak English. I saw a group of women standing. And I said, we are men of God. We want to receive this grace by prophecy for long life. What makes people to live mysteriously long? The women could not understand English very, you know. And so, God helped us. We found somebody who could interpret. And then I said, who is the oldest man now within this community? I want to sow into the man and just bless the person to speak over us and then we leave. Eventually, they led us to one man. He was seated. Then they brought us to the room. Our interpreter talks to him. These are young men, ministers of the gospel. They came to receive the grace for long life. And the man smiled. He said, kneel down. See, those who carry this thing, bar, they know they have it. They know they have it. A hospital does not look for patients. It just equips itself and waits. Whoever is desperate enough, even if it's ICU, you will find yourself there. A hospital, there are mobile hospitals, yes. But classically speaking, hospitals don't move around from house to house saying, are you sick? If you are sick, you find yourself. People fly to India, to America, fly to UK, fly to all kinds of hospitals, relocate themselves from region to region because of their desperation to get to a good hospital. That man began to pray in Yoruba. And as he was praying, honestly, I didn't care what he was saying. My heart was just opened. Lord, whatever covenant you have with these people that keeps making them live long, because I know the kind of travels I'm traveling. I know the kind of call God has called me to. And I don't want to take a risk with my life. I felt like a crown resting upon my head while he was praying. And whilst we were done, so they seed into his life appreciated him on my way going back to get into the car they now told me that the man who was 136 years a man of god who just died that was his wife standing no stick no nothing the wife of his youth oh i said let's go back i went back and i met i said please the man has died but marriage has made two become one so whatever is in him is also in her i said can they beg her to still pray for us again the woman laughed and she tapped me she said follow me we entered a room and she was showing me photos these were photos with her husband and you know those days they married very 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 early this was the wife of his youth till he died she showed me the photos as many as they could gather 
afterwards the woman asked us to kneel down she removed her shoes and stood on her bare legs and began to sing and chant and cry upon the name of the Lord for over 15 minutes this woman was raining down blessings afterwards I ran back to my people I said you people should stand up I came with a gift I came with no no, no I'm not saying you should stand up <laughs> I ran to my people very quickly let your power power of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your fire holy ghost fire rest on me rest on me listen there are men and women you've heard my teachings when i talk about the prophetic i usually give one or two stories just to encourage you there's a man who had now died called pat robertson the founder of cbn 700 club i heard that man and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he cried to god and he said god give me three things number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three give me the power of the holy ghost i went back to god in prayer if these are the three things that made that man I prayed the same prayer God give me wisdom God give me favor God give me genuine power the power of the Holy Ghost and like Jabez God saw the sincerity of my heart and God heard it tonight someone is receiving these three things I can't guarantee that it's everybody but I know someone the spirit of wisdom the grace for favor and then the power the anointing the unction of the Spirit of God may it rest upon you in Jesus name what is God going to do tonight number one God is going to be opening strange mysterious doors doors that you do not even know are there because you are so used to walls and limitations you do not even know that there are doors and that under a certain condition they can open what is God going to be doing right now there are people who have come with all kinds of infirmities God has given a mandate to not allow Satan to wreck your life the healing ministry is a very powerful end time ministry because everybody is given only one body per lifetime and if Satan destroys that body, whether it is your time or not, you will have to leave. There is a requisite level of health for your spirit to remain in your body. And when your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, your spirit will have to leave. So every time the devil afflicts you with sickness, it is a measure of death coming to your life. What is God going to do tonight? Age-long captivities curses and yokes that help people down listen in this business of ministry i have seen captivity firsthand i remember one time a very precious wonderful beautiful lady true story in desperation for a child the mother went somewhere and the man did all kinds of things and said you will have a child he said but when that child is 20 years make sure you return back true story and she said by then you would have died and the man pointed one young boy and he said this boy will be the one who will be doing this by that time make sure you return this lady if you don't whatever happens true to it if I'm joking I'll tell you I'm joking when this lady clocked 20 on the dot you would dare not come near this lady saying I want to go and see your parents or what 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 will rob the, it will wait will rubbish you by yourself you will just reverse and go back there are people who are sincere but they are carrying influences victims of all kinds of things the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and after which the sons of jacob will possess their possessions can i tell you every chain that has tied you to yesterday tied you to ancestry and would not let you go as a man of god the bible says we have been called out of every tribe tongue nation blotting out every handwriting the assignment of this ministration is to enforce by grace that which has been finished in christ 
are you ready to pray and then i will be speaking over your life in the next one minute and then we're going to do everything together please be sensitive this is a moment you must not miss open your mouth and begin to declare the thing that god must do in your life tonight as a testament of your own open door souvenir father make it happen go ahead and pray go ahead and pray someone pray someone pray someone pray hi 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 glory be to god hey hi 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 glory be to god hi 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 glory be to god hi 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 glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah glory be God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Man of God, pray. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Evalenda Balekros Kaberatus Kabrigadi. You come from a background where men do not rise. It's time to end that yoke. Ah, it's time to end that yoke. It's time to end that yoke. You come from a family where women are the men and men are women. It's time to break that yoke. Someone get angry for one minute. A prophet in the making, a man of God in the making. I like you to pray. It's time to carry fire tonight. It's time to carry grace tonight. Only heal people can heal others. Only those delivered can deliver others. Only saviors can save others. What is that for sitting on your ministry? Sitting on your family? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's do this very quickly. Please look at me. Bring out your prayer request. And I want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right. To make it easy, easy for ushers. Ushers, very quickly, I want you to just move through the aisles. Don't worry, nobody's reading your request. Just bring it so that we prepare everything at once. I want to pray ministering deliverance and healing right now. Just a minute for you to bring your prayer request. That which you have written that the Lord will do as a testament of open doors. There are many men of God that will rise from this meeting. Honestly, this is what God is showing me. There are many people. Asaba is in need of greater envoys, greater witnesses. And I'm saying there is an oil, there is a stirring. God is still looking for. There are not enough men of God. I'm telling you, there are many great people, but there are still more. And there will be an emergence of young men. These men will be disciplined young men with character and fire. They will understand the ways of the kingdom like never before. Let me start with these people. I'm going to pray right now. Our ushers are busy. How do we do it now? If the ushers are busy, maybe worship team will join the ushers or any other department. If they are not singing, they can join to do whatever it is because there are so many people here and sometimes I may request that you bring some of the people out. I want us to do it very quickly. Before I pray deliverance and healing, the Lord wants to call some people out. You have been walking with the spirit in the secret place and there is a mantle that your destiny needs there are prophets that must rise there are intercessors that must rise many prayer groups this is what god is telling me many prophetic and apostolic prayer groups are going to rise across asaba young men they will come together and begin to pray down the purposes of god 
my assignment tonight is to open you to certain dimensions i'm about to pray i want you to bring those people whether you are an usher or not once the power of god rests on someone let's do it very fast so that we don't stay unnecessarily long my father i pray in this place there are women where are they by the spirit i decree and declare everyone who has a role to play in this prophetic agenda of the spirit over asaba right now i declare let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow from the front to the back from the front to the back the left to the right let that wind blow help them please someone ushers get something to cover them eh? let that wind blow in the name of jesus let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow warriors of prayer i call you by the spirit arise now warriors of prayer champions of the altar women men i call you by the spirit arise in the name of jesus warriors of prayer warriors of the spirit men who understand the altar oh you will be warriors in your homes you will be warriors across territories i stir up that fire i stir up that fire the borders the borders are rising the borders are rising the borders are rising with fire with fire with fire the borders are rising I say it by the voice of prophecy. The borders are rising. Issachar are rising by the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone go ahead and pray. I'm available, oh God. Everyone pray that prayer. Available. Right to the back. Are you praying? I'm available. Let that mantle for my destiny rest upon me. Available. To be used mightily. Available. Available for my campus. Available in Asaba. A woman of fire. All those who are in front here the Lord brought you by his spirit hear me after tonight there is a level of consecration that you are stepping into for some of you you are stepping into seasons of fastings seasons of prayer God will be revealing himself to you multiplying visions I pray for you you may look weak but may power from on high mantle you this moment may power from on high mantle you this moment that god's prophetic program for in gathering for asaba for the south south under your watch may it not be aborted in the name of jesus i pray the same prayer for everyone here who is in ministry apostolic ministry prophetic ministry evangelical ministry intercessory ministry the grace to stand strong 
the grace to remain the grace to be unmovable the grace to not compromise may that grace rest upon you now the staying power to do ministry with integrity may it be released upon you Jesus the prayer that you have received that grace remains with you you will not lose it through carelessness you will be yielded until you become you will be yielded until you are changed you will be yielded until you evolve to a very superior version of yourself in Jesus name we pray amen return to your seat if you can I want to pray now for those who are oppressed there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ I want to pray now there is liberty in Christ hear me I'm going to be ministering deliverance right now what is deliverance the process that establishes the victory of Christ upon the life of a believer separating you from any spirit or any condition that impedes your becoming and your manifesting like Christ deliverance is not just separation from spirits it is also separation from conditions hallelujah and I'm going to pray right now there are people in this place bound by all kinds of satanic things from addictions to curses to yokes patterns that have been happening around your life and family patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of idol worship patterns of all kinds of things it's time for it to go I'm going to pray for you now at the count of three you're going to shout the name of Jesus those under the anointing you will leave them eh? but then all those who now are under the anointing I want you to gently bring them out as I begin to pray it's important ushers well done to you and all those who are working this is the sacrifice you are doing for the sake of those whose destiny must be lifted I'm going to pray a prayer and I will ask all of you to shout Jesus and as you shout that name that is above every other name every altar and everything that is not of God that has authorized the reign of darkness over your life it must give way now father you have given power to bring deliverance unto your people in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands like Moses did across Asaba and I decree and declare everyone right now who is under any kind of yoke any kind of curse every legal access Satan has to your life as the count of three as you shout that name I decree and declare may that access be broken and let your deliverance be established are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus be set free now be set free now be set
set free now bring them out i cause every spirit i call spirits of ancestry i call you by name and i cause you by the blood of the lamb i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now let them go release their families release their destinies release their families from the front to the back the left to the right i say it again every bondage that has held anyone bondage of addiction patterns of darkness molestations in dreams retrogressions spirits of delay in the name of jesus christ the one who died and rose again be set free this moment let them go i set altars on fire let the consuming fire rest upon every altar is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by Hear me. There is a spirit sitting upon the destinies of firstborns, the ones who have opened the womb, that they will keep serving the younger. Is the spirit that came upon Esau. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Let that agreement with darkness be broken now. Let it be broken now. I release your prophetic destiny in the name of Jesus. Spirits that have brought poverty over families, regardless their diligence, they only live by begging from others right now. Every altar that powers that manifestation, it comes under attack now. Hallelujah. He told Zechariah, what seest thou? And he said, I see four horns. These are the horns that have exalted themselves above Israel, above Jerusalem, and above Judah. He said, I have sent four carpenters four carpenters i have come tonight as a privileged carpenter every horn that has exalted itself over your family there are some of you there are patterns every year someone must die every two years someone must die just when people are about to rise let me speak over those families oh death where is your sting and no grave where is your victory the power of untimely death over families let that door be closed now let that door be closed now let that door be closed now hear me i'm ministering as the lord is putting it in my spirit there is the spirit of lateness always do things late the first person that builds builds at 50 the first person that finishes school is at 35 or 40 he says satisfy me early with your goodness i want to pray for you the spirit of lateness that makes you crawl like a snail in destiny i command by the fire of the holy ghost anyone who is a victim of lateness be delivered this moment now hallelujah hear me the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of do you know there are men and women just when it is time to lift them there is a dark cloud that comes upon them and everybody starts to hate them 
including those who can help them the moment that opportunity lifts then everything becomes normal i don't know who has been like jabez that the, the garment apparatus theater i'm seeing dark veils dark veils just covering the faces of people this is what i see in the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the prayer of jabez may my god bless you may my god enlarge you may his hand rest upon you i tear off that veil of shame i tear off that veil of reproach in the name of jesus christ please be sensitive god is doing something in your life hallelujah that the younger will head over the elder that was the course in the bible i see two nations but the younger will head over the elder but my bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more say more and more that is the heritage of the believer in christ i taught you yesterday that the end point the end of our business in the spirit is the glory the manifestation of the glory of god in and through the life of the believer in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of people tied in the spirit these are chains that have held the hands of people right now the fire of god is going to rest and begin to break that chain father everyone from this vision you are showing me everyone whose productivity has been under attack in the name of jesus resulting to unemployment resulting to failure in business by the power that raised christ from the dead may that chain be broken now may that chain be broken now hallelujah hallelujah for all of you who are in front here i decree and declare over you every spirit that will not let you go pharaoh drowned into the sea together with his people and i declare every power i speak as one sent in the name of jesus release their families now let them go in the name of jesus that they may go and serve the lord acceptably every legal access you have over their lives and their families is hereby broken forever in the name of jesus christ we overcame them by the blood of the lamb the bible declares and the word of their testimony you are delivered now and delivered forever in jesus name now if you are trusting god for healing please you can return back to your seat for those who can lay your hands right now i want to pray for you i believe in the healing ministry with all my heart i have seen the power of god bring healing to people people who would have been dead now you are not only receiving it but you are also receiving the anointing to be an extension of the same to god's people very quickly i want to pray for you for sake of time we may not have the time to call for testimonies miracle services are usually services that demand an extensive time because of the enormity of the problems that people have the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet but sometimes you are moved by compassion as you see the kinds of problems that people carry but i have to pray for you listen i have been a victim of sickness before i know what sickness can do there are some of you who have been told the moment you are 30 the moment you are 40 the moment you are 50 the moment you are 60 start preparing for your grave because it looks like there are sicknesses prostrate cancer all kinds of satanic manifestations but i want to pray please lay your hands and believe jesus i sing praises to your name oh god 
praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. Do you know? Hold on, please. Because of the enormity, because of the kinds of situations of people, tomorrow is our final miracle service back home in Abuja. And do you know, there are literally hospitals, not just in Nigeria, across the globe. And may God bless the owners of those hospitals who literally, they just bring screens at the wards or some of them allow their patients on phone just when the miracle service is going on. And there are patients in the hospital because doctors are right now becoming spiritual people too. And bless God for doctors that are tongue talking, Jesus loving and serving. They know when it is just a natural cause and they know when this one is a spirit and the phenomenal miracles that God has done I, I, don't, I don't know anything that humbles me more than that that in this place right now there are people some you may not even know you are sick others you know from ulcers to blood pressure and all kinds of things a young beautiful vibrant lady just about to start her life and they say they just found cancer somewhere and sadly in two weeks the cancer has spread and it's about to destroy you no lay your hands and i want you to believe if you are not sick in your body you can stand in for someone but by all means believe in the healing power of jesus i know he heals he truly is the healer father in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over asaba your precious people have come some have cried some like the woman with the issue of blood have spent their entire i'm hearing the word angina that looks that looks like a heart related problem something a deformity or some problem with the heart this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus whoever it is that has that condition that heart problem i'm not a medical doctor but in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Please believe it. And after I pray, I want you to shout a believing amen. Every spirit of infirmity that is behind every sickness, wasting millions of your naira. Help mama, help mama, something is happening to her. I command that spirit right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I come as one sent by the blood of Jesus that was shed upon the cross that fountain that flows through Calvary in the name of Jesus lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare Asaba from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name back pain be healed in Jesus name pain around the groin area be healed in Jesus name eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness be healed in Jesus name deaf ears be open now in Jesus name everybody with any growth a lump around breast lump or some growth fibroids of all kinds I cost them right now I cost them right now my God the power of God is moving here someone with severe pain around your shoulder in the name of Jesus who died and rose again 
be healed right now there's someone you have a problem urinating you are not able to go out you you can go there and stand for a long time just easing yourself literally in droplets i want to pray for you this you may not know i'm not a medical doctor i'm just saying as the spirit of god is revealing to me this is the early symptoms of prostrate in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hand over that man you are a gentleman i decree and declare whatever is enlarging your prostrate we cause it right now in jesus name there's someone god is showing me you have a fertility issue that is related to man you're a man you have a fertility issue this is an embarrassing issue you have gone to the hospital you've seen a doctor they've given you drugs i'm praying for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me by your spirit i will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting you the resurrected king is resurrecting you i decree and declare life surges into your body now there's someone you don't have any visible sickness any ailment but something began to happen to you from last year you get tired easily the moment you walk or do something strenuous you are a young person but you become tired as if you are an old person in the name of jesus christ let healing come for you now i'm seeing something that looks like a leather and i'm seeing it boiling and the lord is saying i should pray for someone that there is poor oxygen flow in your body poor oxygen flow in your body this thing you keep having sometimes you feel like you want to pass out because there is poor oxygen flow in your body i decree and declare right now be healed from that infirmity anyone having problems with your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus let it be corrected now let it be corrected now there's a gentleman you are having a problem you have severe pain around your joints you are not a sickler but you are having pro you know how sicklers are when they start having the crisis your joints your feet you are having very severe it's like a circulation problem in the name of jesus i'm praying for you wherever you are by the power of the holy spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now i see a woman you get pregnant but it does not reach three months you have to lose that baby something happens and you lose that baby this has happened a number of times in the name of jesus we are praying for you right now according to the time of life by this time next year may the god who gives children i say it prophetically by this time next year by this time next year if i be a man of god i prophesy by the spirit by this time next year return with your miracle child there's a woman here i want to pray for you you are beginning to feel pain at the left side of your breast and this thing you've been afraid to go to the hospital if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that this thing is becoming a cancerous thing and i'm seeing a situation where they are saying quickly they have to take off one of it wherever you are let the power of god that devil that wants you to lose the parts of your body to cancer Parakatos kateba lakata, ebreke de belentos kia tabarakos kia, rakatos ke berende beke dia. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I've seen this situation. God is showing me many times. Why it happens, I don't know. But your hair is falling, literally. 
you are losing your hair a lady you are losing your hair i mean very very significant amount of your hair just falling like someone who went through chemo and is losing their hair in the name of jesus the same grace that grew back the hair of samson may that grace rest upon you for fruitfulness in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus every infirmity that will not let you rest i decree and declare be healed now be healed now breathing problems be healed now in jesus name everyone begin to pray in the spirit please bring for me the request okay stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute please pray everyone those who are following online you can connect by faith we're about to pray over this request right now is someone believing god for a miracle go ahead speak to the lord if you are yet to submit your request please do that quickly we have to hurry up you can wave it and an usher will pick very quickly man of god i want you to stretch your hands because you are not only agreeing with me in prayer you are carrying this same grace in the name of jesus and with it god will help you to do wonders in the life of those who look up to you someone pray hallelujah now i'm going to bow my knees and pray and all i want you to do is to agree with me in faith you don't have to kneel i will do the kneeling for you holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our god holy are there still requests bring them who comes in the name of our god we hail you we worship you we hail you most high listen i was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and that was where i heard this song it was not a song that i wrote it was a song that i heard the angels sing lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we most high someone go ahead and begin to pray from the back to the front these egyptians that i see today i see them no more forever in the next one minute go ahead and pray someone go ahead and pray you're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head say you're oh my glory lord you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. 
Hallelujah. I know the God that answers prayer. I know the God that answers prayer. There is a covenant of answered prayer. Solomon, in dedicating the temple, he said, Lord, whoever faces his direction and cries, that you will hear and you will hearken. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every request that is written here, for everyone who believes in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown us mercy, receive this request as testimonies. Receive this request as instant testimonies. Hear me? Many of these prayer requests are men dependent. That means there are those who have been anointed by God to be the channels to answer prayers. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east, and the west of Asaba. Whoever must come into divine partnership with the spirit of grace to make for the answers of this prayer, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus, we summon them to honor the word of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. And every man who says over his dead body, for you to rejoice and see the hand of God, in the name of Jesus, may the earth open and swallow them. I stand upon these requests prophetically. And I decree and declare, every trouble that has sat on your head, I bring it under the feet of Jesus. And I declare unto you, Asaba, in gathering, and the community of believers here represented, these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ are you ready to receive prophetic words son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest can i tell you the truth if you receive the prophetic declarations that i'm bringing over your life you will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen. Adonai. 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 in the name of jesus i speak over everyone who has come for this conference by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me every door that has closed over you closed over your ministry close over your business close over your children close over your influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak to that door a fata be open a fata be open a fata be open in the name of jesus christ the bible says you don't have to bring those under the anointing in front again just guide them and say and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every destiny helper who must send for you to transit you from where you are to the next level of your prophetic destiny wherever they are I call upon the God of my covenant who is also your God between now and December 31st please hear me I prophesy to you may your destiny helpers show up in your life May your destiny help us show up in your life. In the name of Jesus, I'm hearing restoration in my spirit. I don't know what you have lost, 
some you have lost time some you have lost relationships some you have lost things some you have even lost mantles i'm praying for you now the grace that restores may it land upon you the grace that restores may it land upon you in the name of jesus christ the grace that restores i say it again may it rest upon you in the name of jesus are you ready to receive favor father i pray in the name of jesus for everyone here who believes that there is actually a grace called favor i'm praying in the name that is above all names i call upon my god the one who has shown me mercy let that grace let that mantle for favor let it rest upon you now let that grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ can i pray for the works of your hands now listen please i was speaking to a few people yesterday and i told them something we're wrapping up i want to pray a very serious prayer for you there is a grace called the power to prosper do you know how it works there are three dimensions to the operation of that grace it comes upon your head it comes upon your hands and it comes upon your feet listen carefully when that grace comes upon your head it activates creativity and illumination and understanding Elihu said there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 and the breath the spirit the breath of the almighty make it men of understanding then number two it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now Abraham, if he remained at all of the Chaldeans, even though he was a sincere man, he would never be blessed. There are times where God relocates men to their desired place. Are we together? Direction is important and guidance is important. These are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom. Wisdom as divine direction. The Lord is my shepherd. And because of his ability to lead and guide me, I shall not want. I want to pray this grace for you. Upon your head, upon your hand, upon your feet. Let it rest now. I say it again, upon your head. Supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen. Illumination, understanding of things. And I pray for your hand. You are in business, you are working, you are a, an employed person whatever endeavor you are engaged in in jesus name may that grace rest upon you and finally find supernatural direction you know where to go to you are led by the spirit you will never go to a place of trouble you will never go to a place of loss you will never go to a place of decline you will never find your way to sodom in the name of jesus christ now hear me please hear me I want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart of all the prayers and the prophetic words this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive I want to pray for your spiritual life that includes your prayer life that includes your passion for the word that includes your passion for the house of God in all your receiving you did not receive much if this one does not rest on you there is a grace that causes men to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication it makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar and from there you will command power with God and power with men there is the passion for the Word of God that causes you to desire the Word of God even more than your necessary food there is a grace that makes the house of God a delight for you. I was glad when they said unto me, let us. 
when there is a decline in membership within a territory something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people therefore i want to pray for you in the name of jesus whatever has taken your spiritual life down compromises carelessness prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of god lack of commitment to serve in the house of god by this fire by this power i fan to flames your prayer altar i fan to flames your prayer altar i say it again i fan to flames your prayer altar in the name of jesus receive passion for the word of god the discipline to fast the discipline to wake up and pray the discipline to study the word the discipline to love the house of god the discipline to live for jesus in the mighty name of jesus let it rest upon you hear me anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly in the mighty name of jesus now in this great prophetic atmosphere before you receive the final blessing i want to count one to five and in that count i want to give someone an opportunity who is an apostle i desperately need jesus listen please keep standing there are many people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you teach whilst hearing you preach the hunger and the passion for the things of the spirit is welling up within me but i have never truly made jesus lord of my life or you are saying i remember making this declaration of faith but as it stands right now something is is capitally wrong with my spiritual life i need your mercy i need your help oh god i'm going to count one to five i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus as i count one to five i want you to run and come and stand here now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise come we raise the sound for he is god and god alone hallelujah hallelujah now unto the lamb upon nations of the earth over the nations of the earth hallelujah hallelujah i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back come i have decided What a mighty harvest tonight, young and old, male and female. Only Jesus can draw this many to himself. Let's honor him with a great can clap for this once. Now for all of you who are here, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Lift it high to Jesus, not to a man, not to Joshua Selman. Lift it. Say after me as loud as you can. And please, I want you to mean it from your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is in this place. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive your life 
I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I live for Jesus keep your beautiful hands lifted and I pray for you father based on the authority of your word the integrity of your word alongside your confession I decree and declare that truly the power of sin Satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life and every spirit that will not let you serve Jesus acceptably and in truth I cast it out of your life now I commend you to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and I decree and declare that the spirit of grace will begin a journey with you that leads you to become a manifestation of the glory of God from tonight you go for whatever and backward never amen and amen. amen now we have such a crowd of people I do not know if the counselors are able to handle this they're able to okay here's what you do for me I know that there are a lot of you and we're going to make that as fast as possible may I please request as many of you who can just walk straight to my left that will be your right and there'll be a group of counselors who will have a word within minutes they are done with you and you will rush back let's honor them as they go what a great harvest Asaba is this how you give Jesus praise for a harvest hallelujah amen just one more function very quickly and then we're out of here where's um pastor Ike and his wife please let's appreciate them as they come let me just speak over their lives for the next level celebrate them as they come thank you Jesus it is the grace of God that rests upon our lives that makes the difference in our faith adventure just a moment and then we're done please please if for any reason any one of these people moving if they left their bags their Bibles please those of you who are their neighbors do well to protect it for them we do not want a situation where people leave and then we hear that they are missing bags or missing Bibles you shouldn't come here and steal you already know what to rest on your head in this kind of atmosphere hallelujah pastor Ike and the wife can we appreciate them as they come very quickly let me speak a word of blessing on their behalf I want to say a very big thank you to all those who have stood by them stood with them hallelujah let's honor them in gathering global honor your pastors oh they are coming with their lovely children okay let's give them a big big God bless you is this how you honor grace within your land come hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now stretch your hands towards them in one minute we're out of time but everything that you desire to rest on your own life please I'd like you to speak it over them in one moment Lord help them many people have no idea the kind of attacks that are on men and women of God in this end time the devil desires for ministers of the gospel to fall the devil desires for them to be destroyed the devil des desires that there are testimonies that have been built over decades is destroyed in one day please pray for them Lord keep them keep their family keep the children it will never be that the purposes of God will go down under their watch is someone praying from the depth of your heart Lord raise men and women who will stand by them in prayer raise prophetic intercessors raise financiers for them grant them increased influence in the name of Jesus father thank you so much for pastor Ike thank you for his dear wife and the lovely children thank you in the name of Jesus for that which you are doing I am very proud of what you are doing in their lives helping them to blaze the fire of revival across this territory Lord by the spirit and by the election of grace I measure a thousand cubits for them in the spirit 
I'm praying that you shift them higher and deeper in the name of Jesus Christ as I lay my hands upon them and the children Lord I pray that the grace for increased influence greater fire greater grace access to all the blessings of the spirit let it rest upon them in the name of Jesus let that grace rest upon you 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 this family is blessed you are distinguished not only in Asaba not only in Delta State not only in the South South but across the nations I call you blessed this family continues to go from glory to glory nobody will die in this family in the name of Jesus I pray that everybody who fights you goes down you will keep seeing the faithfulness of God I use them as a point of contact to pray for all the pastors and the leaders of in gathering global in the name of Jesus as they rise you rise as God visits them he visits you this ministry will know no lack your children will not lack resources they will serve the God of their parents I bless you you will do ministry with integrity and with character you will go from glory to glory no weapon fashioned against you will prosper you are blessed and you remain blessed in Jesus mighty name we pray give them a big God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you okay I'm told that there are people here who want to give and who want to sow I will just pray a general prayer and then you can do so once I leave it's important for those who I'm told that they want to give it's not about money so it's important that I speak over your life in the name of Jesus all those who have come with seeds of all kinds to give whether it's to sow into this grace to sow into the ministry in whatever capacity I pray my God who is not a scammer who is not a fraudster who does not deceive or mislead men you have done this I presume willingly from your heart joyfully gladly and with faith may my God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus I bless you you will never remain at this level financially may God raise help for you you will keep going from glory to glory you will return by this time next year ten times better in Jesus mighty name we pray as about God bless you the Lord increase you and I love you in Jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye